the crows again. I can't wait to get on the crows again. Hi you guys and welcome back to Field Sports with Speed. I am on the road. We are going on the crows again. There's an absolute bucket load of them on this field. Uh, it's uh, stubble and they've just spreaded on there so there's quite a lot there. It's a nice day, we've had bucket loads of rain as well, um, but today looks like it's clear and there's a nice wind on, so yeah, let's get over there, see if we can slap a few. Well, this is why they're on the field. have got peas laid everywhere. You've got all the wheat laid on. Yeah, it's looking like a good day can be had. That's about as natural as it's going to get. Beauty. Right, decoys going out. Get the old silla socks all fluffed out. Lovely wind today, so they'll be flicking and turning lovely. Jay's putting his lot out. Let's get this done, get in the hide. Okay, so we set up decoys out a little bit further out than usual because it's such a big field that I want to spread the decoys over a bit of an area but you'll see here it's sort of quite clumped up so that's sort of where we're trying to draw them into a nice group of birds they like like that they like coming into a group of birds thing all this food there so um yeah hopefully they'll come into there quite nicely it's gonna go pick this bit of plastic up just because I don't want it spooking them off, but yeah, hide set. What hide you might ask? I know it's pretty bloody good. I'm really happy with that one we've done. So let's get this out of the way, get in the hide, see if we can get one or two. Here we go then, into the hide. Got all the snacks all set up for me and Jace. Nice and spacious. Let's have a look. Oh, straight in. Straight in. There we go. Right, let's get the gun out. Right. Here we go. Both of those. And again. Oh yeah, they're just committing, aren't yeah, they? Same, yeah. you, you would have thought. Twisted a bit more than I thought. Come on, look at that jacket. Oh! <laughs> well, that's a bloody good start. I think I've had about a dozen already. One more coming in front now. 
but you know they're really committing nicely to the pattern even though there's only a few out and that's really good to see you know that coming in there's a lot of jackdaws if you see a field with a lot of jackdaws you know you're gonna have a fairly good bow right this rook is coming straight to me i'm gonna start me go now bear with Landing the range of dead bird. Oh no, it's coming back now. Oh, it's winning. I don't think it'll make old bones anyway, this field. Today I'm shooting the Ely Coon Farm 532 fibres through the old trusty blazer. Um, I've actually run out of pigeon selects, so no more 630s at the moment. I'm on back on the 532s. that it's been a very very productive little morning look at them all they are everywhere decoying really really well absolutely so we're gonna just tidy these up and get the far ones we've shown into the pattern onto some cradles see if we can get a few more right so we're gonna bulk out this bit of the pattern hide to there and a lot of them are coming in from this way and they're going in here so what we're going to do is try and bulk this out a little bit just to get them to come nice and you know straight across the pattern so if i get one of the bigger crows it's as simple as sitting him on the cradle he's dead so he ain't gonna feel that just tucking his wings in and that's it. Nice bird on the cradle. Let's get all these on. So you can see here, this is a young bird. It's, it's really light brown feathers, quite sparse. So that's probably why they're decoying so well. I've got these cradles out now. Wind, as you'll see if I do that. Let's see. Wind's pushing down this way here. So that's why they're coming into it here. So obviously you want these birds facing into the wind because if you didn't, you'd ruffle all their feathers up the wrong way. They don't like that. They'd never sit like that ordinarily. So facing into the wind, hopefully we'll carry on coming from the right and into the pattern. That sorted pattern has been bulked out and more birds yeah. over there. So it should just funnel them in straight across us quite nicely. Right, let's get these birds in out of show and yeah let's get on and up nice good shot Still gliding. But like that one come from a long way off. They certainly know the field, don't they? That's the first one that's took that line. But I reckon he's gonna just turn on in, isn't he? Oh, that is hard. He's dead. 
Yeah, he's dead. Well, that certainly hasn't been a bad morning. Look at that pile. Cheers, mate. Mm. Hide snacks. We're back to Colin. Get on. <laughs> well, we've had a little bit of a change of plan because the crows have moved on because I think we've probably had enough of the crows. Um, and a couple of hours have gone by where it's very, very quiet. Um, the crows, oh, you can probably actually see them over here. There's a few over there and they seem to just be not coming into air, which isn't surprising because we've had quite a few shots. There's quite a lot of pigeons floating around. So we thought, well, we'll have an hour, put the crow, um, pigeon decoys on and uh, see if we can get a few pigeons. Nice wind on, so they should be quite sporty. Like you can see, can you see that one there? Maybe not. Anyway, let's get these set out, get the flapper on, just try and get a few pigeons. Oh, lovely. Got him, Jace. Oh. Got him as well, Jace. Mounted that really badly, but it got it instead. That doesn't matter. Right, should we call it? Well, the plan to get a few pigeons didn't quite work out, they all sort of moved off. So, we're gonna get on now. We've um, had a nice morning, and uh, we're gonna pack up, leave the site nice and clean. And uh, yeah, let's have a count up, see how many we've totaled. Well, we're certainly not grumbling at that for a morning. Look at that. Incredible. So busy to start with. And then it just died a death. But it's not surprising now because there's so many fields that are cut now. You scare them off after, you know, obviously having a good few shots and then they never come back. But, you know, really good day. That's 113 vids and nine pigeons as well nine woodies but the most special thing is this have a look at that an albino jackdaw never seen one in my life before but look at the color difference so cool and there we go guys thanks for watching again i really do appreciate it please make sure you like and comment and i do reply to all the comments so i love to see your feedback and everything like that so i hope you've learned a couple of things from the video and we'll see you on the next one